War. War never changes. Since the dawn of humankind, when our ancestors first discovered the killing power of rock and bone, blood has been spilled in the name of everything from God to justice to simple psychotic rage. In the year 2077, after millennia of armed conflict, the destructive nature of man could sustain itself no longer. The world was plunged into an abyss of nuclear fire and radiation. But it was not, as some had predicted, the end of the world. Instead, the apocalypse was simply the prologue to another bloody chapter of human history. For man had succeeded in destroying the world. But war, war never changes. In the early days, thousands were spared the horrors of the Holocaust by taking refuge in enormous underground shelters known as vaults. But when they emerged, they had only the hell of the wastes to greet them. All except those in Vault 101. For on that fateful day, when fire rained from the sky, the giant steel door of Vault 101 slid closed and never reopened. It was here you were born. It is here you will die. Because in Vault 101, no one ever enters, and no one ever leaves. Son, Catherine, a beautiful, healthy baby boy. Oh, oh, oh James, we did it. A son, a beautiful son. You've got a bright future ahead of you, son. I'm sure of it. Look at you. Look at you. Hi there. I'm your daddy, little guy. Daddy. You're going to need a name, aren't you? Your mother and I have been talking. What do you think about... That's a good name, don't you think? Fits you perfectly. Looks like they've finished the gene projection. Let's see what you'll look like when you're all grown up. going to look a lot like your dad. See that, Catherine? Oh! 
Oh, oh very strapping. <laughs> it's a big world out there, son, full of all sorts of people. What about you? What kind of person are you going to be? James? Catherine? James? Catherine. She's Something's in cardiac are... arrest. Start compression. Get the baby out of here. Move! Move! One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Come on. Hang on, Captain. Hang on. Okay? You. We need a doctor, not a dead man. Fail to meet my expectations. Now, don't look straight into the light, pal. James and his cheery nice chatter. Decorations. They have just something you can use to this place. will feel just like Come home. on over here, son. Come on, walk to Daddy. There yeah. you go. My goodness, just a year old and already walking like a pro. Your mother would have been so proud. Listen, kiddo, I know you don't like it when Daddy leaves you alone, but I need you to take care of yourself for a minute. You just stay here while Daddy runs to his office. You'll be okay, pal. I'll be back in a bit. you in. Come on over here. I want to show you something. See that? It was your mother's favorite passage. It's from the Bible. Revelation 21.6. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. She always loved that. All right, come on. Let's go see if your little friend Amada wants to play. Kid. Happy, Happy birthday! birthday. Happy birthday. Can you believe it? He is growing up so fast. Happy birthday, pal. I can't believe you're already ten. I'm so proud of you. If only you. Congratulations, mother. young man. I don't have to tell you how special this day is, do I? 
down here in Vault 101, when you turn 10, well, you're ready to take on your first official vault responsibilities. So here you are. As overseer, I hereby present to you your very own Pip-Boy 3000. Get used to it. You'll be getting your first work assignment tomorrow. <laughs> Enjoy your party. You're only ten once, so have fun. Enjoying yourself? Happy birthday! <laughs> your dad was afraid you were on to us. But I told him not to worry. You're so easy to fool. You're welcome. But really, your dad did most of it. I just help with the decorations and stuff. Hey, I bet you can't guess what I got you for your birthday. Go on, guess. Gross. I didn't think you even liked girls. And you know what I mean, before you say something rude about me. I guess maybe I should give this to someone else. Someone who likes Grognak the Barbarian better than me and Christine. The question is, how could you tell the difference? <laughs> nice. Enjoying yourself? <laughs> Happy birthday, Sonny. Attention, everyone. It's time to top the cake. Amy, wait. about the cake mishap. Simply mortified. Daddy, I told you not to Come act on, all official. We'll have good I ideas. know you were joking, but I'm not sure yeah, anyone else did. I got one. No the Mackers. People always cool, enjoy right? my little speeches. Jeez, Wally, Besides, that friend game. of yours could use a reminder no that life is not all fun and games. Ugh, this is supposed How's to be going, a pal? party. Are you having a nice party? Goodness, listen to me ramble. Such a nice, polite young man you are. Don't ever lose your gift to speaking your mind so directly. We could use more of that down here. Here you go. A nice sweet roll that I baked for you just this morning. And it's all for you. You're the birthday boy. No sharing required today. You know, hon? I'm hungry, and that's stupid. Ugh, I don't want your nerd cooties. You're gonna be sorry you did that. Let's see how tough you- You should so, try what do you sometime, think we should Daddy. Call game? You might like how do you like that Pip-Boy, son? As a matter of fact, I did. I'm glad you like it. Some may think the A-Series is a bit basic, but I've always preferred them for their reliability. Don't mention it. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. Happy birthday! Not much, but I hope you like it. Hey, how about those vault dwellers? Get it? Who wants to go? But you're such an idiot. I know. Around all day being called Do a you vault think we surprised dweller. him? Sometimes I think you I'm really sure are as dumb as you look. Never. Thanks for coming, Stanley. I know you were busy. This party's pretty good, I guess. For a little kid. Balloons, party hats. Not as cool as my party, though. Remember how my dad got Andy to do magic tricks? And we all played Hunt the Mutant in the atrium? Oh, right. You weren't invited to my party. Too bad, man. It was really fun. See, with the water purifier. Everything's fine, I hope. Oh, sure, nothing to worry about. Me and Andy got her all fixed up again last night. Good hey, news. happy birthday, Nosebleed. I wasn't sleep. worried. <laughs> you Jonas? You fixed anything, right? Hey, Doc. Anyway, We're all I'm glad to Happy birthday! It. Thanks. Nice I'll party. send him right down. Hey, that was Jonas. Wally, what should we call How ourselves? How are you the party, Mr. Happy Palmer? birthday, Sonny. I help with the decorations. Happy birthday, dearie. My goodness, I hope I didn't miss the party. They sure did. My, my! Ten years old already? Why, I can remember helping your dad change your diapers. 
And now look at you, a great big grown-up 10-year-old with your very own Pip-Boy. Since this was such a special occasion, do you know what I did? I wrote you a poem just for you. I hope you like it. Of course. Run along now, dearie, and have yourself a wonderful birthday. Cheese. Yeah. That's you, Butch. Oh, a really? big cheese. They're lovely. Nice try. Nice try. What are you doing down here, young man? I thought kids weren't allowed down on the reactor level. <laughs> you sure are. Pip boy and everything. Look at that. If you can wait just one more minute, I think your dad will want to give you the surprise himself. Are you ready for your surprise? Your own BB gun. It's a little old, but it should work perfectly. Jonas found it down here. It was in pretty rough shape. Took us a good three months to find the parts to get it working again. You know how tough it is to find a spring that small? Good thing Butch misplaced that switchblade of his. <laughs> so, what do you think? Want to give it a try? We sure can't, unless we want the overseer beating down our door. Jonas and I have found a place, though. Come on. Well, what do you think? Careful, it's a rad roach. Think you can take care of that with your BB gun? Just aim. Good work. Let's get a picture together. Capture the moment. Hey, Jonas, get a picture of me with a big game hunter. Smile! Boys and girls have different parts. It's your fault right? anyway, so I'm the overseer's daughter, so what? Like, I get any kind of special Tell treatment. Me. Revelation 21-6. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. As far as I can tell, you're a perfectly healthy 16-year-old boy. So yes, you have to go to class to take your GOAT exam. Go on now. You've got a GOAT to take. Hey, it's not my call. Those are the rules. You're 16 now, so this year you take the GOAT. Come on, it's not so bad. Everyone has to take it. You'll do just fine. The Generalized Occupational Aptitude Test. GOAT. Everyone here in the vault takes it when they're 16. Helps to figure out what sort of a job you'll have here in Vault 101 when you get a bit older. So, pay attention and try not to fall asleep. You know what the overseer says? We are born in the vault, we die in the vault. Each is tested to determine their abilities that they may work for the betterment of all vault residents. Huh. Sound familiar? That's not the way it works, and it won't do to go around asking questions like that, especially not around the Overseer. I want to tell you something now. It's important, so listen closely. This place, this vault, it's not perfect, I know, but it is your home. You're safe here. Stay on the Overseer's good side, and you always will be. You understand? You need to appreciate all you have, because what's up there on the outside that's not the life I want for you. And it's not what your mother wanted for you either. That's what the Overseer says, isn't it? He's not about to let anyone else in, so I guess that's how it'll have to be. You're here now, and it's a hell of a lot better than being up there. All your mother and I ever wanted was for you to be safe. And you're safe here. Take care, son.
Good morning. Stopped in to see the old man before class, Get eh? out of my way, you stupid t Hey, look. It's Smart Mouth. Of Only the baddest gang in Vault 101. Like you don't know. We rule this vault, and what we say goes. You'll stay out of our way if you know what's good for you. None of your business, kid. Get out of here before you get hurt. If you mess with the tunnel snakes, you're asking for it. Got me? And who are you? Huh? Keep talking like that, boy, and we'll send you back to your daddy with a few broken bones for him to fix. You've got to be k Come on, tunnel! Why me? Tunnel snakes oh, rule, losers Hit him again. Please, Okay, okay, you win. We'll leave the little girl alone. You're not worth our time anyway. Come on, Tunnel Snakes, we're out of here. Me. Whatever you say, Butch, you're the boss.